What's up, all you hustlers? Welcome back to the final episode of Look Mum, I'm Hustling for 2021. Episode 32, we made it and we're, we're still alive and we're ready to roll into the new year. Well, I know I am. Are you? I, I think I am. I've just been through one of the busiest uh, times in retail. Uh, it's been a very... Yeah, hectic couple of days. Definitely everyone coming in, buying stuff, but I'm ready for the new year to come in. Yeah, just ready for something fresh. Something fresh. Yeah. Do we have fresh things planned? I like to think that we do. Well, we have <laughs> we have fresh things that we want to plan. We actually just haven't planned it yet is the thing. Yep. Yeah, so it's been a... <clears throat> pardon me, it's been a wild, wild year, 2021. I think everyone was expecting expecting 2021 to be a big change big positive change Mm -hmm. coming out of 2020 yes it feels like it was more of the same so who knows if 2022 is going to be any different right yeah it's just and i've said it so many times but this year has literally flown past i think in the amongst of being in lockdown out of lockdown changing restrictions all that kind of thing you just can't get your flow on like you normally can so you know where you can get your routine so whether it's like a working routine or personal life routine even just like going outdoors being active it's just hard to keep up with everything that's going on or as soon as you sort of get the momentum and make plans then they're all of a sudden like hey omicron how you doing that's right omicron taking over i know but i guess like the it shows who the i guess the uh most flexible people are yeah are the ones that can maintain some sort of schedule throughout these type of periods yeah because it's very like you said it's very easy to get lost mm-hmm. lose the momentum lose any sort of reality of like time time yeah. reality almost like foresight as well because you just don't know what to expect next week like how can you even prepare yourself for what next year is going to be without knowing i guess all these outside factors but then it comes to the whole thing of be like control what you can and then just sort of let go what you can't like we can't control omicron can't control you know what's going to happen that way but we can i guess control the way we react to it Mm. yeah yeah trying to stay positive about everything yeah exactly yeah just trying to i don't know look after ourselves which is the main thing and it you know can be hard sometimes and you know getting a bit of a funk Mm -hmm. but yeah we do have the new year coming along we do. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah, I know. Very exciting time. So I think I don't know. What do we just pay pay respects to the year that was? Perhaps we do, a lot of people will do like a best of compilation mm-hmm. po- of like the best podcast episodes from that year. Yeah, we've only done thirty. Yeah, thirty two now. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know if there's that much there to reflect on. Well, I was just thinking. <laughs> so with our earlier episodes, we we've sort of. The podcast has been through a few, not a few different changes, but we're still trying to figure out what we want out of the podcast as well. Um, So in the beginning, we're very structured. We're very, yeah, just wanting to give out knowledge and things that we like. So we did have, you know, environmental episode. We had a... The one that was fun was the Hoarders vs. Hustlers episode, which was mad. Mm -hmm. That was um, really interesting just going through, be like, where does the line draw between hoarding a whole bunch of stuff or collecting a whole bunch of stuff first like being a reseller or things like that we've had some good guests on as well so chris is our first guest shout out to chris (laughs) chrissy furlong i know always listening always sending us positive vibes uh also had bianca which was like a right all fun as well which is mad um just loved her yeah instagram her style just the stuff that she collects which is awesome then we also had who else do we have Mickey from Little Lake of Mushrooms. Yes. Oh my gosh. What I are can't... we going to do? We can't believe we only did three guests, but I'm not going to get hung up on mm. our missed opportunities. But like you said, the the podcast is still in its infancy. Yes, 100%. Uh, it's a, a lot further along than a lot of previous podcasts that we've done or even other people's podcasts because they are hard to get up and running and hard to get over the, that first 10 or 20 episodes. Um, but you're never going to get, get it right the first first episode or the first 10 episodes in terms of nutting out the format and, and knowing exactly what you want because it's it's one of those things that's it, the the beauty of it is you're able to be free with it in terms of the format you want to use with it whether it's a guest episode or um, a reactionary to the news or current affairs the, the beauty of a podcast is you're free to do whatever you want um, so yeah we're still uh, we're still sort of working out how we're going to play it out but we've got We've got a lot more episodes to do in the future. And look at the, the ones that have been around for a long time now. And, you know, they never really start out 
set in stone of what the the premise or the format or the structure of the shows are going to be. They sort of just evolve over time, unless it's one of those ones that's pretty well produced beforehand or has mm-hmm. you know high high level of production or scripting and stuff to it. They're the ones that you know you know what, you know what you're going to get here. You don't know what you're going to get with the Look Mom and Hustling Kids. No, it's yeah. it's so true. Like the again, that's what I love about the podcasting because you do have those serious ones where. They're more of a storyline, story arc, but I've sort of fallen back into the conversational style podcast and I've started to listen to Mark Maron, which I haven't listened to in ages. He used to be like my go-to for like a good conversation, um, but he's just one of those, <clears throat> another one of those dudes that's just, it's just evolved into like where it is now. And because of his podcast, he's gotten even more popularity on his stand-up comedic range as well, which is really interesting. Well, that's always been an interview show though. It has, yeah. So like, I guess my point is like, it can go from an interview show to a news show to an, I don't know, uh, an entertainment-based mm-hmm. show. Um, yeah, Mark Maron's legit. I, I've listened to it for a while, though. Yeah, I, for some reason, it's been like almost probably a year You're since I've last it? listened to him. Yeah, he's still going, still going strong. Um, yeah, like it's he's just, I think he gets to, he loves just like talking more personal stuff where you do have some podcast um, host that will just not do the surface level thing, but like, you know, what's your job? That kind of Go thing. Over the main, their main story, yeah. I mean, their main, um, their main thing they're known for in terms of their personality or yeah. their, like their the hot career. To- yeah. yeah. Like the hot talking points where I think he's probably more of adapted over time. Or I think people just know what to expect with him. Cause he'll talk about your childhood, what makes you tick because he's one of those people that has been through a lot in his life. So whether it's, you know, addiction issues, things like that, he's just a really curious person about how people, I don't know, run their lives or what they do to, I don't know, be able to be the person that they are, which I find really, really interesting. And that's the best thing about podcasting is, no matter what podcast you listen to, it's always like just something unexpected or you weren't expecting the conversation to flow that way, which is really interesting. It is hard It is hard to find new podcasts though mm. because the ones you're fed in the Spotify or Apple podcast, shameless plug, you can find the podcast on both of those amazing apps. You can, yeah. Um, it is hard to find new and upcoming ones. Obviously, there are tabs or genres for new and upcoming podcasts, mm-hmm. but for like a new podcast podcast, um, if you don't have much of a social media following to begin with, can be quite hard to break in and get new listeners and um, even new guests on the show if you don't have much of a, a portfolio of a track or a track record to, you know, show that you're worthy of their time. Yeah, no, that's very true because, you know, we, and we've talked about it so many times, but yes, we still want to get on more guests, but it's also people that, you know, that we can learn something from or take a little bit tidbit or even our listeners out there, you know, that they can learn something from as well. Just, you know, interesting walks of life there. That would be awesome. So that would be 100% a goal for us in the new year, which will be in a like less than a week. Three or four days. Yes, yes. So we do have a lot of planning to do. But again, yeah, guess is something I'd really love to get on a little bit more um, because I'm sure everybody is sick of just listening to our two voices. (laughs) Hopefully not. Yeah. We'll find out. We will, yeah. (laughs) But yeah, just just want to just say thank you to everyone first Mm -hmm. and foremost for um, coming over from our initial... Well, the the name Look My Mum Hustling Mm -hmm. was initially a a YouTube channel which we... um, I guess, branched off, renamed yeah. this podcast um, as Look Mum Hustling. So just wanted to say a quick shout out and thank you to everyone that has been supporting us from our reselling journey and adventure and coming across to listen to us jabber on every week. Yeah. Uh, big thank you to you guys. And yeah, we're going to be here for a lot longer. So mm-hmm. plenty of episodes to tune in on. But yeah, thank you so much for listening in 20 uh, Sarah yeah. thinks I'm not wrapping up the episode yet that's no. just, no, just a mid episode thank you you're like oh that's a quick episode I was like what are you doing no, I just wanted to say thank you for 2021 mm-hmm. thus far yeah and yeah 2022 will be more to come so I guess what do we want to do in 2022 we talked about um, getting guests on not necessarily mm-hmm. about the podcast but yeah this podcast is about us and what we like to do mm-hmm. 
So, what do, like what are we uh, what are we doing in twenty twenty two? What are we what are we up to? All right. So for us, um, no more name changes yet. <laughs> that was a big thing for us in twenty twenty one, as we had the split off with the name change and everything. Um, but in the new year, personally, um, it's only probably in the last like couple of months I've really started to get my fitness back on track. So that's a huge goal personally for myself is just to get that back on track. Um, I want to be able to just open bloody jars by myself. Every now and then I'm just like, Drew, can you open this? I just want some that that core strength back. Yeah, um, that's I'm not sure how much of the jar opening <laughs> is going to improve. I can get you like a – my mom used to have these little plastic mitt things mm-hmm. and you just put it on and they just pop off straight away. Oh, like, that traction. Just, yeah, no, there's no like friction yep. from like the oils of your hand or anything. But, yep, um, jar opening. Yeah, jar opening. Um, getting a little bit more limber for skateboarding, which would be good. So I went out the other day, um, which is a lot of fun. Drew actually showed me a few tricks and stuff, which is cool. Um, the biggest trick was trying to just stay on my board <laughs> and just not, well, not fall you, off. If you can't stay on your board, then you're not going to be much of a skateboarder. So <laughs> no. you did well. Yeah, I only stacked it once and my ankle doesn't hurt too bad today, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> you did have pads for every joint of the body l- below the neck, so... I did, yeah. Yeah, so I had the whole shebang with the wrist. Lucky I had the wrist pads on, though, because I did stack it and I saw, like, a scrape along the wrist pads, so I was like, it worked. They one do r- work. One wrist one wrist saved. Yeah, but literally Drew was like, um, you're not getting on that skateboard until you put on the pads. No. <laughs> Too much of a liability. Yeah. Yeah, so besides, yeah, the fitness... um. Yeah, actually properly learning how to skateboard, which would be amazing. Um, Now that, well, knock on wood, but this coming up here. So last year we had a lot of travel restrictions. So this time, hopefully there won't be. And we actually be able to go outside of our own LGA, which will be exciting. So being able to do that for a little bit. So (laughs) (laughs) you're laughing at me, but it's so true. LGAs are so so August August and September. I I know. I haven't thought about an LGA for three months now. I know. It's so crazy to think about like how much little time has passed, but it just feels like it's been like a whole year, but it's only been a couple of months. So now we can actually venture out, which is good. Um, we do have a drone that we've been wanting to use for ages, which is pretty exciting and just going out enjoying that and seeing some of that amazing aerial landscapes. Yeah, drone footage, oh, I love it. When they get a nice ocean, nice wave coming through. Yeah. yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. No, it is really nice. I feel like you're being sarcastic. Of course there. I am. Sorry, I got I got ice in my drink and I'm like, mm, hmm. do I chew or swallow yeah. this ice? Really? Well, you hear like the cracking on the on the microphone. That's right. I swallowed the ice. Yeah. So, yeah, it sounds like you've got tw- plenty of things planned for 2020. you got to be well, a, bit more, a bit more specific. You can't just be like, exercise more, skateboard a bit more. You need like a... You need a smart goal. Oh, smart goal. Well, for the exercising thing, I know that we talked about it. Um, we did a 5K run a couple of months ago now, I think yeah, it was. Don't, don't go ahead and say marathon because no. we've, we've said it before and we're still yet to do one. So, the more times it's said and not done. Not done. It's well, still, I want to work like- towards doing one. <sighs> okay. Yeah, apparently there's one in September, so we'll see. Okay. We'll see, yeah. This is probably one every day of the week. Most likely, but it's the big one. It's the bridge one, the Sydney Harbour Bridge one. Mm, That's the huge, huge famous one. Um, Yeah, so fitness. Also want to get a little bit more hustle or business-minded. I'm trying to really work on that particular area. I'm not very... Not very business savvy compared to Drew. Like he's very, he comes up with the best ideas. I don't. I just steal them from Twitter. Yeah, but you, you know, but you come around and you like, let me know about them, things like that, which is amazing. So I'd love to, I guess, grow that aspect. So not only work on my physicality, but also work on my mind and growth that way and just be able to, I guess, help turn, you know, some of the, if we have liabilities, yeah, into assets or just creating more income coming through, which would be amazing. So I think the year 2022 will be putting all the pieces in places to set up some more income coming through. Could be a catch 22 of a year. Oh, catch 22. That's not a good thing. No. Wait, catch 22 means, oh, what does the catch 22 saying mean again? <laughs> Because I, I just keep thinking of the, the book, right? With Harriet, with Oswald, the shot. Gay- catch 22 means it can, it's like, to catch 22, like it can go like either way, like either result is like yeah. the same outcome almost. Like catch the catch 22. Oh, uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't sort type of, scenario. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so just setting up a few more, not a few more, but have some- A few business, more. Yeah, a few more. A few more businesses come through, yeah. which would be amazing. But I'm 
it's not my strong suit and I will admit that. Um, but again, it's something that I would love to focus on is just, yeah, having that growth mentality, always seeking out for more knowledge, being curious rather than just being complacent as a human being. Like I just really want to continue to keep moving forward rather than reflecting on, you know, the past or what I haven't done. What can I do now? So mm. like I need to get some self-help books for you. <laughs> I've already, there was one, actually, no, I stopped reading it. There was a good brand book that we're reading at the moment. Which yeah, that was a good brand, story brand, very yeah. good book about um, not really necessarily to do with us and like making content, but just about how brands succeed and in what ways they succeed. Like basically the most popular brands are always story driven. There's always some sort mm-hmm. of story arc to them. Um, but yeah, fascinating to learn about storytelling because as you guys probably know, listening to these 30 something podcasts by now, not the best at telling a story from point A to B in a fascinating and articulate way. So getting better at that. Yes. That's something I want to get better at, telling better stories. That is a good, that but is actually really good. you have stories first. <laughs> you do have a lot of stories. You're, actually, you're a better storyteller than I am. I, for some reason, will start at the beginning then add in a middle part and end part and then continue on with the beginning again. So Drew's very good at being like, wait, 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 wait. Start from the beginning again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I can get, I get overexcited about talking something I'm interested in and then I just jump to the end sometimes and I don't mean to. Yeah. But yeah, I just get so excited that I'd be like, I want to reveal it all. Yeah. It is hard. It's, a, hmm. it's definitely a hard skill and people spend years, decades learning how to craft it in you know, written form or f- mm-hmm. video form. Um, it's, telling a story is not easy. No. Not easy at all. And it's, yeah, it's definitely a learned skill. Like it's mm-hmm. it's not really an innate thing, you know, like to tell, tell a story really well mm-hmm. and to have, you know, we all know there's people in our lives that have been at a party and there's, they're telling a story and everyone's locked in yeah. for the next word the entire time. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a true storyteller. So that's a good brand. St- what's it called? Story brand. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I don't know how we started talking about that, but yeah, that's that's an interesting book, a self help book. That's what we're talking about. Yes, that's yeah. more of a business book, though. It is. Well, that's something that can help me with my new business mindset focus. Yeah, something to work on. But for yourself, do you have anything that you'd love to, or any goals for twenty twenty two? Drew's taking a sip while he has a think about it. <laughs> goals for twenty twenty two. Definitely working towards this marathon. That I thought you said no marathons. Me. I said working towards it. Yes, that's a that's a better term. Working towards. I would like to. It is. It seems like one of those things. Is like, oh, I've seen so many people over the years like do a marathon. I can definitely mm-hmm. do one. Then you look at it on paper and you're like, fuck, forty two k, four hours. It's definitely no, no joke. No, it's definitely one of those bucket list type items for sure. Yeah, mm. I mean we're only going to get older, so mostly get onto it yeah. sooner rather than later. So that's on there. But that, other than that, just. More, more consistent working out, creating a creating a plan because you can just get lost in your workouts without having any sort of goal. Mm-hmm. You don't have like a goal with a. It's like it's like having a deadline for a business or a task, right? Like if you have something to work towards and a goal and a finite date, then it sort of lights a fire in your ass to make sure you're going to go and attack it or even prepare to attack it. So that sort of thing preparing mm-hmm. for that is is the the big goal um the big fitness goal for the year and um, so working backwards from, from there i think you need to i think you need to spend about 16 18 weeks preparing mm-hmm. um so we're looking to that plan that out like you said um make sure the, the ebay stuff is running smooth ideally you want to take a, a step back mm-hmm. well not a step back but like just a maintain or a plateau at the level we're at in terms of the the income and the listings and the the amount of effort we're putting into it, um, to help focus on other things, right? Like you mm-hmm. said, trying to find new financial avenues, different income streams. We have a few few really cool and interesting things locked in for the new year. Um, so we're attacking that, which is really exciting. But again, it's about creating deadlines, which we've, we've just discussed. Mm-hmm. Um, just helps keep focused and you know keep yourself accountable. You know where you're at. Are we running two weeks late? Are we running early? Um, it just helps you prepare yourself mentally for the upcoming weeks to see if you're, you know, you're gonna hit this task. So, a couple of cool financial things on the cards. Um, what else? What else are we doing? I want to read a lot more books. Yes. So we listened to heaps of audio books this year. Read a bunch, but this year the most of it's been focused. I left my job in February to pursue reselling and. 
side hustles full time. Working for yourself. So mm-hmm. I listened to a, more books this year than I would have previously, but still not enough. Um, a lot of the ones that I got around to are probably ones that mm-hmm. realistically should have listened to five, ten years ago. So I feel like I'm playing catch up mentally. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I want to get <laughs> one book a week would be good. Two would be better. So I'm thinking uh, one paperback, one audio. So audio book you can crank out while driving around, getting tasks done, and then dedicate to getting one book done a week mm-hmm. paperback. Yeah. Um, probably a, just a smaller a smaller type book you can knock out in mm-hmm. in a week as opposed to a big old textbook. Because yeah. there are some that you can get that are like a 45-minute read, yeah, yeah, yeah. things like that. But yeah, I've... Haven't read as much as I wanted to this year. And I find when I don't read a lot, my vocabulary decreases so much, which is so interesting. But when I find that I'm reading quite more or listening to audiobooks, yeah, just more articulate. See, running out big words now. (laughs) And I think I'm just like trying to read up about just how to read faster, just optimal ways to like take that information in because Mm -hmm. working from home, I'm pretty much on the computer all day. Most of the time listening to an audiobook or mm-hmm. listening to some sort of podcast. Yeah. Which is like a three hour conversation most of the time anyway. Um so yeah, listening to books over podcasts is probably the, the next big thing for me next year. Um just to take more niche wisdom in as opposed to generic chats like this one. Yeah. They do have their place, but you like to dive in on a, a topic a bit deeper every now and then. Mm-hmm. Um I think getting back into some of the nutrition stuff that I left behind prior to doing all of this. So for those who don't know, I have done a nutrition degree. Mentioned it here. I think that's the 58th time I've mentioned that. (laughs) Handful of times. Um, Just trying to find my passion for it again and find how I can fit into that world. I don't know if I'll ever be a proper consultation nutritionist or taking on clients and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, But... Trying to find a way to pay off that hex debt with it is yes. sort of the sort of the goal at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, just thinking about ways to integrate myself back into that world without it taking up too much of my time and not relying on it for income and just having it as a passion again. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now that I have reselling, that pays the bills. Yeah, like that's the first thing. Like, what job pays your bills? Mm-hmm. This one pays my bills. Now it gives me more time to focus on other things that. I might be more passionate about. So again, reading books, trying to find my footing in nutrition again is another mm-hmm. another big thing before I've lost all that info completely by letting another year slide without, you know, maintaining my level of knowledge in that in that world. So that's really important to me. Um and just just trying to do things that we like and like more. Like the last couple of years you've just been grinding, making content mm-hmm. for the sake of making content. I just feel like we're getting back to our what we initially started all this for, which is just doing doing things that we want to do, doing this podcast, talking about random things, talking to random people, and then getting the main channel back to what we had in mind at the start of 2021. We did do the name change and split all the content up into different platforms, mm-hmm. but I haven't really fully capitalized on it and went in on it. So we did change the name at the start of the year to do more travel and lifestyle stuff. We did a little bit of that, yeah, but lockdown again put the brakes on a lot of the the travel stuff we had planned yeah um, for sure. so revisiting that and trying to get back to what we were going to do this year next year so mm. fitness food business mm-hmm. travel education yeah all that fun stuff yeah all that cool adult stuff i think the the most daunting thing is getting the guests on the podcast because yeah. you know it's hard to reach out to people it's hard to find interesting ways of communicating with people you don't know that much about or you know if they have a really specific area of information Mm -hmm. it can be hard to and hard and daunting to like break into that world but like everyone says right all the the hardest most daunting things always have the biggest reward the most scariest but you know biggest reward there so that's something we have to just push ourselves into the deep end to do yeah just actually get over that fear of not the rejection, but just like approaching a person, be like, yo, you might not really know who we are, but we love what you do. Would you want to pop on? So yeah, yeah, just actually reaching out to people and giving it a red hot go, which is the whole thing. So maybe that will be the theme of 2021 is just giving everything a red hot go. Give it a go. Give it a go. (laughs) That's what we'll do though. So we'll, yeah, 
like we said, we're, there's a lot of things that we want to do in 2022, mm -hmm. as we always say. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for the new year. I'm ready for this COVID business to be over and just actually get back to the basics and do what we set out to do. All right. So here's to cheers. Oh. Here's to cheers to 21. Oh, you don't have much left. Cheers. There's a, there's a no very. I feel like we did a tap on the first episode and it was not as clinky. Ready? Yeah. We'll try again. Okay. Oh, no. 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 We got to do it in front rim, of a microphone. The rims, yeah. the rims. Oh. There mm. we go. All right. All right so guys, thank we'll you for everyone. <laughs> thank you so much for supporting us. 2021, we'll be back fresh, bright and early next year in 2022. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Leave us a rating and review. We really would appreciate it if you'd leave us an honest review. If it's mm. five star, that'd be awesome. If it's four star, we'll take that as well. But leave yeah. any sort of review. That would be really, really appreciated. It helps us rank up in the algorithm and get the show out to some new ears which would be lovely yeah also I'd, we're on yep i was just about to say i'd love to continue being the number one uh couples podcast right i think we lost that rank after about six hours oh no okay never mind then well we'll get back to that spot all right follow us on youtube for the video version at look my mom hustling and also on instagram for all the little daily snippets thank you mm -hmm. guys it's happy happy new year happy new year everybody hope you enjoy the rest of 2021 and i hope 2022 brings you all the good stuff prosperous for all yes now cheers cheers everyone thank you so much bye, bye.